Hello, this is Eric with Banger Group, and thank you for joining us in another video. For today's video, I'm going to talk about the document library web part on SharePoint Online. The document library web part can be utilized to allow the users the ability to display and interact with files within pages or sites without having the need to navigate to the site content section. So let me show you how that would work. Here we have our page. And I'd like to enable that ability for users to see our files and track with them without having to go into site contents. So I'm going to add the document library web part. I'm going to go into edit mode. I'm going to place it here between these two web parts. Click the plus button. I'm going to look up document library. Perfect. And now these are all my document libraries that are, are saved within my site, and I can pick one to display. I'm going to go with Documents. As you can see, now I'm able to see and interact with all of the files stored within my Documents library. I'm going to click Republish so we can see that. I can browse through folders, and to navigate back, all you have to do is follow the breadcrumbs. I'm able to edit files. And you can see how this would be very helpful for users to not navigate to site contents every time. And there are other features you can enable within documents web part. So let me show you that. Click edit. I'm gonna click in the web part itself. I'm going to click edit web part. Here you can reconfigure which document library gets displayed. I'm going to keep mine as documents. If you have view set up in your list, for example here, you can also choose to display a view within the web part itself. If you'd like to display a subfolder, for example, you only want to display the monthly reports, you can do that through this feature here. All you have to do is type in the name of your subfolder, or if there are even subfolders within there, you can use the slash to filter them out. For example, I'm going to show my monthly reports. I'm going to click Apply, and you'll see that all this is going to be gone, and we're only going to be able to see the monthly reports within here. Click apply. You can see monthly reports, and I'm only able to see this. I can navigate back to the documents library. You can also resize your web part, how many items get displayed. By default, the amount is 15. You can go into small, about five items. Click apply. And only five items will be displayed, but you're still able to scroll through and see the entire list of items. This just lists the size of your web part. You can choose whether to hide your, dis your command bar. So this bar here, you can choose to hide it. You can enable that feature here and click apply. Um, and dynamic filtering. This feature allows you to associate which items get displayed or not displayed. This is going to be a separate video on its own because it is a very broad topic. So that's it. That is the documents web part library, and I hope you learned something new. Thank you.